Hello, you are listening to Mind Your Business, the podcast that lets you get to know the stories behind some of your favourite Scottish businesses. Hope you enjoy the episode. So hello and welcome to another episode of Mind Your Business. Now this week I'm joined by Chris and Donna from the Fix Fife, which is Bunt Island's newest coffee shop. So hi guys. Hello. Thank you for joining me today. So how's it been going since you opened? It's quite, quite recent, isn't it? Yeah, so we opened on the 4th of December and mm-hmm. we just did like a soft opening. So right. we didn't really advertise it. We had like our social media um, up and running before that, but right, we never okay. really told anyone when we were going to open. Mm-hmm. We just thought we'll do it um, real quiet just so that, you know, if, I don't know, all the electrics failed or something like that, <laughs> then we could kind of like just close the doors and no one would know. Yeah. Because we actually did have the electricians in on the morning of... Um, our opening day because we'd kind of undershot how many plug sockets we needed right so we thought we'd put in enough but we didn't so we kind of thought well we'll push for the fourth Mm -hmm. um, and just hopefully we'll be able to open then so um so far it's been really good Mm -hmm. we're still just like getting our name out there we've been in like the five free press which has been really great for like drumming up more interest yeah people knowing we're actually here Mm because um it was a cafe before, but then it was shut. So then they were shut for maybe like a um, month before we came in, and then we were shut for a month, like redecorating. So it's kind of yeah. like you know, just building up the awareness that we're actually open and mm-hmm. trading. So we've had uh, friends drive miles to come and like support us, which has been like That's completely amazing. overwhelming. Yeah. Um. Totally, like appreciate everyone who's come in especially people that have like driven from like Aberdeen just to have lunch yeah oh my god that's just, amazing which is just <laughs> mental but um no it's been really good and we're starting to build up a good base of like uh, regular customers yeah that's and great. always getting new people in that have like seen our food on like Facebook or Instagram like I yeah. had to like come it in and have it so good <laughs> <laughs> so we always try and like uh, market ourselves with like pictures of the food mm-hmm. and sometimes like the cooking of the food just so that you can actually see it um, and then hopefully like it'll make you a bit hungry and you want to come in and actually yeah, try it. Yeah, but the behind the scenes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But it's been really good and it's been really well received um, and we're just still finding our feet and trying to always like tweak things and take on feedback and yeah. stuff like that because, you know, we've got a million and one things we're trying to like figure out Mm-hmm. And so it's it's easy to like overlook little things mm-hmm. that we you know just forget or haven't had the time to do. So it's good to have a wee nudge from customers to say, oh, actually, how about stocking this or trying yeah. that. So mm-hmm. we always really appreciate take on the feedback. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. That's amazing. So what kind of led to you as opening this place? What were you doing before that sort of led up to this? So we. We've always had like predominantly a background in hospitality. So right, okay. like one of my first jobs was in a restaurant and then in bars, etc. And Chris has always been chefing or like mm-hmm. restaurant management and stuff like that. So that's always been our background, that's always been our passion. We just love food. Mm-hmm. Um whenever we go travelling it's like food. Like what yeah. are we gonna eat? Where are we gonna eat? The most like, important thing. Yeah, <laughs> our, our days out are definitely always planned around, around meal food. to meal. Yeah. yeah, even when I'm eating, I'm like, right, what am I eating next? Yeah, next. always thinking of the next so, one. <laughs> so bad for that. Um, so when we actually went to New Zealand and we were like um, living out there for two years. Oh, right, okay. And while we were there, we worked together mm-hmm. in like a bar, restaurant thing, and then we also worked in a cafe together. Right, okay. So that was kind of like our first time working together because mm-hmm. we're married. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been together a really long time, but that was our first time actually working together. So that yeah. was kind of like a wee taster of like, right, okay, yeah. you in the kitchen, me front house. That's a dynamic that really works. Because mm-hmm. I know that's not for everybody. Like yeah, couples, that's a whole different thing working together, isn't it? Exactly. I know. I've spoke to some couples, and like, I would kill him <laughs> if we had to work together. Like, yeah. no. So that was a good wee taster of us working together, and we've always kind of spoken about it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when you kind of like have a, a dream and you think, ah, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, may one or may day not. sort of thing. Yeah, the goal has always been to have our own place. Right. Yeah. So the timing just was kind of right for yeah. us, I think. Mm-hmm. We'd been looking at uh, buying a house and having mm-hmm. a baby. Mm-hmm. And then when we saw this opportunity come up, we thought, well, we'll just have a wee business baby instead. Yeah. And, you know, we'll do that. <laughs> do that first. <laughs> <laughs> like, we couldn't do both at the same time. So yeah. So just, we just had to 
kind of jump at the opportunity really mm -hmm. when we knew that the lease was going to be available. Right, so was it always a plan to have a place in Burnt Island or did you think about having it elsewhere? Or? I mean, we love the Burnt Island High Street. Uh, mm -hmm. We think it's definitely a great place for a business. Um, no, we did look elsewhere. We looked at a few different kind of opportunities and stuff, but... Some of them were too big, like for a first right. business yeah. venture. Yeah. Some of them were in like areas that maybe we didn't know as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is like, you know, it's it's a totally different thing when you're having to do all the behind the scenes as well. Like whenever we've worked for someone else, yeah. they do, you know, all the paperwork, you know, all the, the systems that go on behind the scenes, mm. the social media, everything like that. Like, yeah. there's people to do those those um, tasks. So it's like when you're having to do it yourself. Like, we're like, right, we need a small business so that we can actually do all yeah. those things and learn all those things. Like, I don't know how to do bookkeeping, you know. So mm -hmm. it's like you're having to learn all the the other stuff. So we thought a small business would definitely be the best uh, jumping point for that. Yeah, mm. this is it's definitely manageable in terms of the yeah. size of this business with just the two of us at the moment. Um, and yeah, learning all the stuff that we didn't, like filling in the gaps basically of our knowledge in yeah. terms of what we've done and then what needs to be done to run your own place. So, mm -hmm. so is that quite a big learning curve then, all the other stuff that goes with it? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of it's like more time consuming than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Like you think, oh, social media, that's easy, but it actually uses up a lot of your time. Yeah. And um, I've done like a social media, um, like one-to-one -one with Joe, Brink the Party. Oh, right, did okay, like yeah, a, yeah. A, podcast with her yeah and that was really useful but it's I keep saying to myself I'm gonna do all the scheduling I'm gonna have it all lined up and, and then I don't because mm. something else comes up so yeah it's just um I think we're we're getting more in our stride now and we're trying not to be on like you know reflex all the time we're trying to be ahead of it mm -hmm. but it is a lot of it is just like oh panic right okay we need to do this now and mm -hmm. we need to you know figure figure out what content we're going to share today or whatever yeah. so um, definitely like a learning curve, um, but I think I think between the two of us, we're trying to trying to work together to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. So do you do the front of house stuff then, and you do the cooking? Chris, is that right? Uh, that's kind of the dynamic. Yeah. So Don is the host, and I'm the cook. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously, in terms of the business side of it, coming from a restaurant management background, I know quite a bit about that. And like, we're not completely new to like accountancy and stuff, but it's yeah. just making sure we're all over it because I've mm -hmm. never had to file. Our own tax returns and stuff like that before. Yeah, so. that's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're still a way off from that, thankfully. Yeah. Like, we've still got time. But, like, so Chris has, like, been really great. He did, like, all the paperwork. Like, there's a mm -hmm. whole massive folder that we've got just for all the, you know, yeah, the buying safety stuff and side of things. And yeah. Chris's dad helped us out with, like, the risk assessments and stuff. And it's just, yeah, I think it's important just to ask for help. Like, I'm not really good at asking for help. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or if it's like a, a, a thing in general like it's just it makes you feel like kind of vulnerable and like you know you want to be like yeah, yeah. I know what I'm doing but mm -hmm. a lot of the time you just need to ask for help and I think you need to look for people that can help you yeah. and it's not like not thinking that it's bad to actually be like oh I don't know what I'm doing help, <laughs> help me uh, so, you, you can't be expected to know everything I suppose I know. It's, no one knows everything mm -hmm. but I know what you mean it is hard to kind of let go and ask for the help yeah Mm hundred -hmm. percent. Yeah. But no, that's good though that you've been you're getting on okay so far. Yes. Yeah. So when it came to like branding the business uh -huh. and obviously decorating and stuff, did you always have the vision in mind? Was this always a look you kind um, of thought you were gonna go for? It? I think so. Like we love like so many we take a lot of our inspiration from other cafes, mm -hmm. restaurants, etc. that we've been to. Or that we've worked in. Or that we've worked in. Yeah. yeah. We wanted it to be quite homely homely quite clean just kind of like we've kind of stripped it back quite a bit mm -hmm. we wanted it to be quite simple you know quite so like our name like the fix mm -hmm. it's it's simple it's easy to remember yeah i feel like the the logos there's no sort of bells and whistles it's very just yeah what am i trying to say i don't know That's the word. <laughs> i don't know clean. It's, it is yeah, it's clean like a clean, clean yes. logo yeah. so it's like you know we've tried to go with something like that and then we can throw in maybe like other little quirks around the place mm -hmm. like my wee you know pineapple yeah thing and then bits of the art and stuff so we wanted it to be like a nice base and then add pops elsewhere um, right but I think we've always, I mean, it will probably develop in time, maybe as we yeah. change and as the business evolves. But just now, I'm pretty happy with the branding, and I think it's pretty close to what I had envisaged. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. No, I think it looks great. Thanks. So, was there any other names in the run-in? Did you have like a big list of them, or was that? We've had other names in the past when we were thinking of other concepts, mm -hmm. um, but in terms of for this project, no, this was the name mm -hmm. that it was. Donna came up with it, and then we stuck with it from from the start, basically. We were just like walking around the beach one day, and like mm -hmm. that's when I find like we do our best thinking is just when we're out like walking around, and. It's actually the name of a song that we really like. Oh, right, There's okay. an American band, they're not together anymore, but they're uh, called Minus the Bear, mm -hmm. and one of their songs is called The Fix. Ah, oh, so it's quite personal as well. Yeah, it's personal. So there's like many um, kind of layers to it. Like it can be like, you know, your caffeine and food fix. Yeah. And we wanted something that we could get like an Instagram handle for that like no one else had. So yeah, we'd kind of done a bit of like the research before, mm -hmm. and we knew like at The Fix Fife, there was obviously no one else using it. So we're yeah. like, right, okay, we've got something that we can tag mm -hmm. onto our social media um, and we think it's quite funny like it's not something that we had thought of but mm -hmm. it's quite funny like some people think that there's a negative connotation to the oh. name <laughs> but I think that just depends on your thought process yeah um, I'd never thought of that until you just said that there. exactly so I think like it's so many people don't assume it's got a negative implication yeah. and if you do then at least it's memorable yeah do you know what I mean I'm stuck in your mind like we kind of like have a laugh and a joke about it or, like if people are like oh haha better go get your fix it's they're talking about it yeah it's memorable and we want our food to be that good that you want to come back that you need it yeah. in your life do you know what I mean like mm -hmm. um so there's a lot of like different meanings to the name mm -hmm. and for us like I just find it's I just love it and um, my friend got me a wee print of the fix, like in sound, like the song. Oh, like, so yeah. it's like, I don't know. When I got that, I was like, That's this so is nice. really cool because this is like, this is where the name kind of like manifested from. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like we've got a good tagline of like, come get your fix. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But it's for the food and the, <laughs> and the drinks and stuff. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's, that's the name. Yeah. Oh, that's good though, and it does work as like a whole brand, like you yeah. say, like get your fix. And yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, and it's funny, and like if people have a chuckle about it and go, ha ha ha, like we had a couple of uh, guys walking past when I was opening up on Sunday, and he was like, oh, the fix, the fix, let's go get our fix. But it was like yeah. they came in and they had it was the first time in and they loved it, so uh -huh. I was just like, great, like. At See, least that's, that's something for you to talk about. Yeah. You're gonna be like, oh, ha -ha. They can go tell people, tell yeah. other pals. I'll be to the fix, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we like it. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So when it comes to the menus, I know you kind of, you just recently switched out your menu. Yeah. Is that a really fun part to get to kind of play around with the food and yeah, so ideas? I, I mean, it's it's that way that it's, it's a small menu because um, mm -hmm. we're limited on space. So we want to keep it interesting for people. So we get a lot of guys and ladies coming in you know once twice three times a week mm -hmm. for their lunch and so if we were to just run the same menu consistently they'd get bored of it pretty quick and mm -hmm. um, so yeah we like to change it up try new things so to start with we're changing it a bit more regularly now we're kind of settled into once every two weeks yeah and it keeps me busy you know it keeps me thinking mm -hmm. keeps me trying out different things um so yeah we just think it's kind of the way we want to go at the moment yeah and then obviously that's allowing us to try different things and see what works and what doesn't work yeah. um so, you know, although nothing's really been a flop so far, everything's kind of been kind of been good. So some things have been like more, way more popular than others. Right. Like so, this week we had like a well, last week and this week, Karma Cola barbecue pulled pork. So oh, right. Karma Cola is like one of the colas that we stock. Yeah. Um, and we slow cook the pork in house with Chris's like barbecue sauce and then mm. toast it up with like um cheddar and on a proper sourdough bread, Ooh. and it's gone down a riot this week like yeah. honestly people have been loving it so you see like okay well that one if it goes away it's definitely gonna have to come back yeah we had a like a mac and cheese toasty with extra bechamel extra cheese Ooh. and grilled chorizo in there mm -hmm. that was a riot like people were just like just so intrigued by it and yeah. it's not it's not new there are other places doing it mm -hmm. but it's new for like here, here yeah. do you know what i mean so um it's always really fun like practicing menus and just like surprising people mm -hmm. like you know someone's like oh I never thought I'd have a mac and cheese toast eh? yeah, like, yeah. I've only ever had it as like you know mac <laughs> and cheese <laughs> so it's good to see people like properly be surprised and just maybe 
coming out of their comfort zone like people trying vegan food that maybe haven't tried vegan food yeah. before because it's not we're not all like heavy on the meat like we do um vegan options as well right. um this week we've got like a seitan wrap so we make our seitan in right. house yeah um with like so it's almost like when we make it up it's almost like a vegan kebab right okay and you've we've got meat eaters coming in that are either dabbling in veganuary yeah i was or, gonna say you busy yeah, that. or they're you know vegan full-time or whatever whatever your you know choice for what you want to eat but people are branching out and mm-hmm. like trying different things and it's really cool when you they're like oh that's actually really good because you think like toasty yeah okay cool Mm. i'm not gonna get too jazzed up about it but we're trying to pack a load of flavor in it so it's more than a more than a toasty yeah it's about elevating the humble toasty so like yeah when we do things we do it so it's full of flavor and it's just not your average toasty i mean that's Mm -hmm. the goal anyway yeah it must feel so good though when you've like made something and created something and people love it yeah yeah. Yeah. that must feel amazing that's the best thing especially about being I'm the cook, but I'm also visible to the customers, so yeah. I can see people's reaction on the faces. I like to do check backs on people, so like when they're you know kind of taking a couple of bites of the meal, I like to go over and just kind of say how is it for you and all that. And when I get great feedback, that's obviously yeah, yeah that's why I'm doing it. You know, I'm yeah, because you're getting it. that straight away. Yeah, for sure, and I love that. That's what mm-hmm. that's Definitely. what makes it worth it. That's what we do it for. We like to feed people. We like to yeah. make people happy. Yeah, we like to be pleasers. <laughs> well, a good toasty that makes anybody happy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then with the vegan ones, we've been trying to make them so that they're flavors that people understand. So like yeah. the seitan wrap, it like Donna said, it's like a kebab. So when I'm making the seitan, I'm kind of spicing up like Donner meat. Mm-hmm. So then when I thinly slice it, you toast that up and then serve them with like pickled cabbage, um, like a tahini dressing and stuff. So when and then wrapping up and then it looks and feels like you're getting a kebab. So then when yeah. you bite into it, if you're familiar with the flavours of a kebab, it, it's like that, but there's just not the meat in it. So it's, Yeah, so it's not like the huge jump for what people are kind of used to. Yeah, it's absolutely. And then, likewise, <laughs> last week we were doing um, like a barbecue pulled jackfruit burger. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if you're familiar with barbecue pulled pork, you're going to... That's an accessible flavour profile for you, so yeah. it's, not, it's not off-putting, it's not scaring you off, it's something... That you can understand and yeah you want to eat so yeah i've seen you posting about that about the jackfruit yeah. yeah i've never actually had that before but it looks good i know it's it's something that like you've probably have heard of or yeah. seen but a lot of people are just kind of like oh i don't know either what to do with it or what it would be like mm-hmm. um and we're always really really happy to talk to people about mm-hmm. what it is and how we cook it like you know there's very few secrets that we want to keep close to our chest like if we yeah. will we'll talk to you how we make it if you want to make it at home like if we've got the time we love to talk to customers and actually be like well you can make this as well yeah do you know what i mean it's just about having the time and maybe wanting to do it and some people are like straight up like no <laughs> i don't want to be cooking i want to come here and have you feed me and that's cool yeah. but i mean you know we, we're only open five days a week during mm-hmm. the day so i can't feed you all the time yeah. so we're more than happy to share recipes and knowledge and all sorts like you know why not like if you want to make something at home we'll happily tell you how to do it or where to find a recipe or mm-hmm. anything like that it's not there's only a few things that you know we'll keep secret like maybe some of chris's sauces or whatever they're yeah. like under wraps but Secret's anything good. else like yeah we'll ask definitely. us and like we'll definitely like you know try not to bore you too much but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, all the ins and outs we'll point you in the direction of like food blogs that we really like or mm. recipes or cookbooks that we've kind of mm. read and loved and, and we have some of the cookbooks that we use here on site as well if people want to have a look through them right um, it's good for inspiration and yeah or yeah. just give you something to read whilst you're having your coffee yeah. yeah so is that what you find a lot of inspiration then for like cookbooks and, and food blogs yeah definitely yeah, yeah. Um, good old google uncle google <laughs> just get everything there yeah <laughs> you don't want really can eh? no that's amazing so i know you mentioned that you had like the karma cola yes. and stuff and i know you do a lot of that your stockists are kind of different stuff or yeah quite you source quite locally so we use like Green City Whole Foods for a lot of our fair trade organic mm-hmm. uh, products. They're based in Glasgow. They've got a whole range of really good uh, products there. We started off just with like the Karma Cola range mm-hmm. and then Soda Folk, but then we realised like we really need like another um, standard sort of soda. So we got Iron Brew and that in. Right. Um, we're con- but that's it. But I'm saying we're always like changing and adding in new lines yeah. and stuff because we we want to we want to cater to all like we don't want to feel like we're pushing people off because we have like fair trade and organic yeah. like we we don't want to like 
make people feel like, oh, I don't really understand what you're selling or anything like that. Yeah. We want it to be accessible. So we're always trying to add in new ranges. We've got coffee kombucha, which is made by a girl called Heather. Um, yeah, I've and, I follow her on Instagram yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, so she like hand bottles all our kombucha herself. She mm. labels it. She does a whole lot. Like she's really, really wicked what she's doing. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, well, I really like kombucha. It's like a fermented tea. Yeah, I've never actually had it, but it looks good. I can give you a taste. Yeah, our bottles are so nice. One <laughs> now. <laughs> just our bottles, I love them. Yeah, so that's like her and her, her dog. Mm. Um, and our branding's great. Yeah. But I just wanted to support something like that. So mm. we got like the coffee one in, and then down at Macaulay's, uh, the green grocers on the high yeah. street, he's got the other flavours because we wanted to sort of complement right, okay, yeah. um, what, what he was um, selling. But we take a a lot of pride in finding really good quality products mm-hmm. like we use meat from buffalo farm which is just right. up the hill yeah and our breads from breadwinner over in south gyle mm-hmm. um, and they make bread like the proper way like by hand and there's no junk in it yeah do you know what i mean so we put a lot of effort into that and you know sometimes we're like oh you've given yourself an awful lot of work like mm-hmm. there are easier ways to do it but i don't think we could do it any other way no mm-hmm. i wouldn't want to you know, people can taste like that it's homemade, like yeah. when, or they can taste like the quality and stuff like that. So, we really, yeah, like pride ourselves on making an effort. And you know, we'll probably get another couple of uh, standard soda selections in. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But I just love the caramel cola range myself. We used to sell it in the cafes that we were in in New Zealand, yeah. and I just like, I just always thought I wanted them because they just taste. Um, I think they taste great. Yeah, I had one of them recently actually. So yeah. I, I love the bottles and the cans yeah, as well. They're so I actually cute. kept the bottles. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've got them in my house now. They are so, so cute. But it's uh-huh. good to just have something different, eh? And mm-hmm. Yeah, try exactly. Different brands and support the local people, like you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we've got a lot of local suppliers. And then, yeah, so like, like you're saying, with something different. So we chose to get the root beer and the cream soda from Soda Folk. So they're Colorado based, but they're distributed by Green City. Mm-hmm. And that's just something a bit different, you know. It's, mm-hmm. if, I don't know. I grew up kind of watching movies and stuff where they talk about root beer, and then yeah. I loved it when I tried it. So I was like, Do you know what? I want to stock a good quality root beer, and mm. I love cream soda as well. So yeah, when we found Soda Folk, we definitely mm-hmm. jumped on getting them in. And they're definitely not for everyone. Like the flavour of like the root beer is so strange if you're not used to it. Like it's right. quite medicinally, but it's like yeah. if you like it, then you like it. Mm. Um, so it just depends. Like, but I think you know, I think we've got something to sort of cater to everyone and Mm -hmm. there's lots of different price points like it is more expensive coming in and grabbing like uh say a toasty and whatever and then getting like a meal deal or something else on the high street Mm -hmm. but i like to say like if it is like your takeaway lunch or something it is like a wee treat you know like um but i like to think that we've got something that is a price range for most people you know that they can come in and eat out and not be like out of pocket or anything like that i Mm -hmm. think that it's pretty reasonably priced for for the time and the effort and everything that we put into the products yeah. so yeah and you're getting a decent quality meal because you get meal deals and they're never that good <laughs> well <laughs> yeah and it's, when you get you know, the ones i've been known to have one from you know if you're in a bind so you sometimes mm-hmm. you need to do it but it's we like to think that when people have our food and drinks and stuff like that they can just taste like okay that's actually made with good real products Mm -hmm. you know so yeah that's the goal that is the goal yeah so has it been good um i know you've mentioned a couple of places on the high street has it been good being a part of the yeah high street you know the independent businesses and it's like a wee family sort of thing definitely like we've been living here for two years now i think Mm -hmm. it's a little over two years yeah and it's just a great high street like i love being able to just nip across the street and go to the green grocer the fish shop you know you've got tom court's Mm-hmm. like phenomenal produce yeah. like on the high street and there's constantly more opening up mm-hmm. and there's even more like in the pipeline for this year which is really right. exciting so mm-hmm. I think it's just great and there's a real there's definitely like a real community feel and by opening up this cafe it was quite a selfish venture because then we were like well we want to feel like we're more part of the community like yeah and not just like living you know, here and commuting to work basically yeah so we really just wanted to actually feel more involved which we do already like you know you walk down the street and like I suddenly know so many more people and I can say hello and it's just feels good to be part of something Mm -hmm. you know sounds so cheesy yeah but it's been nice to like living and working in the same community and yeah it does and we only live like less than a minute away so it's really (laughs) (laughs) the commute is like nothing now which is really really good 
but no, it's such a vibrant high street and yeah. people really, really support it. Like people travel from elsewhere in Fife to come and shop here, which mm -hmm. is just a testament to how good it's really doing. So we're just super proud to be part of that yeah. and just love the support from other businesses that, you know, everyone's trying to look out for each other because yeah. we're all small businesses trying to do it together and I've got so much respect for anyone running their own business because yeah. there's been moments I've just been like so fried <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and just like what am I doing oh yeah. my god I've, I'm second getting guessing like everything so um I just have so much respect for any like small businesses out there just doing it and especially anyone doing it alone <laughs> like I could not do this by myself yeah so thankfully we've got each other eh? yeah so is that good to kind of have someone who gets it and who, like, you can yeah. relate? <laughs> yeah. We've not had any fallings out, have we? No. We've had uh, disagreements, but we've not fallen out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been good. I think we've just, like, we've spoken, we said, like, you know, if we tried to do this, like, maybe, what, five years ago or something, I think it would have just fallen apart at the seams. But I think yeah. we've been together that long now that we kind of know each other and we can kind of, I can just give him a look and then he'll know. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> so, I suppose it's better working with people who you don't get on with, and <laughs> at least you can have a laugh all day. Yeah. Yes. So, what is your favourite thing about running the cafe so far? Have you, is there like one thing that sticks out, or is it just everything? Have you got a favourite? I mean, the people definitely is. That's what we're doing it for. Um, mm -hmm. And the feedback, you know, it's that's. I think when you're in the hospitality industry, that's what it's all about. It's all about the guests. It's all about making sure that they're having a good time and you feed mm -hmm. off that. So their good vibes and good energy is what drives us, basically, and makes us want to work even harder to make mm -hmm. it better for them the next time they're in and then even better the next time and, you know, grow it and make sure we can reach more people. So, yeah, that's what you feed off of. Yeah. Um, that's definitely why I do it anyway. Yeah, I'd agree. And it's just like... Every now and again, I try and remind myself to just stop and think, like, oh, wait, like, take it in, like, we we own this, this is ours. Because, like, yeah. in the day-to-day -day when you're just, you know, in service, yeah. like, you're you're just doing, mm -hmm. you, you know, the task that you need to do. And it's easy to forget, like, oh, wait, like, oh, yeah, what a huge I'm a business owner. Is, yeah. <laughs> so every now and again, it's like, I have to, like, stop and think, like, oh, wait, no, this is ours. Like, this is, this is exciting, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's easy to sort of not... I don't know, like easy to sort of forget that, I think. You see when you share the pictures, you're like the sunrise coming off I know, and like your so, logo, that must be so nice. It's like, so beautiful, like up the, spot, your business. the sun just like rises right out the front of our shop basically and it's just stunning and I kinda mm -hmm. wait for it to be like, you know, actually nicer days and not like drink all the time. But Yeah. <laughs> summer here we <laughs> cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> summer madness. Uh, so what is the kind of grand plan for the business this year? Are you just keep going or you got any things in the pipeline we've definitely got stuff working in the background yeah. to expand it um, and yeah. kind of want to keep that close to my chest yeah. if that's no, all right no, um, but no there is stuff so yeah we're just kind of working on that and then just developing the concept basically and driving it further so making sure we're taking on feedback from the guests making sure we're trying new things being mm -hmm. innovative um, and maybe source a few more suppliers to get a few different things in mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just kind of keep building it basically and try and make sure that what we're doing is the right thing. Um, so at the moment I'm working on expanding like the baked range. So mm -hmm. I've been making blondie just now before you came in. I'm about mm -hmm. to make like an orange and polenta cake. Which is um, gluten free. Which is gluten free. So we're... Which is a new realm cool. we're trying to like um, do more of. You right. know, we're trying to introduce more gluten free products that we make in house. Yeah. So we're always trying to adapt and learn and... Um, add in other ranges and stuff but yeah. some of the bigger plans well we're going to keep them secret for yeah, now just because if they don't come through then you can't be like oh but you said you were going to do this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> um, no so we've got lots of exciting things to happen and we'll take on a couple of uh, team members maybe in the next little while mm -hmm. um, so that we can actually you know focus on things like yeah. you know building things up paperwork and, side of things yeah. and getting social media more uh, like regular you know yeah. <laughs> than just like oh panic put something up so <laughs> but lots lots even though it's just a small space and we're a small business like there's lots of like good ideas that we've got and a lot of growth that we want to see in it yeah and being ready for summer that's that's the main one as well yeah. obviously summer in Burnt Islands you know, a lot of tourism comes through town and mm -hmm. where we're sighted we're right next to the links so 
there's a lot of potential there. Uh, so we just want to make sure that we are ready. ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fun though when the, the be, crowds start pouring out. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I think that's me. So I've got a wee section called Check Them Out. Okay. So if you have any businesses, any small businesses that you want to shout out, you can go ahead and shout out as many as you want. So I obviously mentioned one of the items that we stock earlier, which is Bad Gal Butcher. Mm-hmm. So it's Heather Blair. She makes all the kombucha herself. She bottles it, labels it, reps it, stands at markets all day, freezing cold. Like she's um, doing amazing things with her kombucha. It's super good for you, full of probiotics. Um, so you can check her out at Bad Gal Butcher. We mm-hmm. stock the coffee one, and um, the Collies on the High Street in Grand Island sells the rest of the range. Right. Um, and another one is Liberty, who are our tea supplier. They're based in Kirkcaldy, so mm-hmm. basically all the profits go to social causes. Oh, right, okay. Um, so again, it's a local product that we're using in our tea range, but all the profits from it go to really good causes. So yeah, um, yeah you can check them out. And James mm-hmm. is like always super helpful. If I need like a last minute tea order, he's like on yeah. on the pulse, and he gets <laughs> out to me super quick with like a smile on his face, which is just great. Yeah. Um, and another one I would say is uh, Luna Yoga. So mm-hmm. it's Steph. She does yoga. I've been doing like every Wednesday night for maybe half a year to a year. I've lost track. But yeah. um, she does yoga here in Burnt Island mm-hmm. and in Kinghorn as well. So like, um, yeah, you should check her out. She's always like pushing us to do mad things that we don't <laughs> think we could do. But um I just love it. Like I need that moment to like unwind. Yeah. Even if I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. It's just I find it's really important to actually like look after yourself because I feel like it's easy to kind of neglect those things. So I really enjoy my yoga sessions with Luna Yoga. Amazing. Well, I'll tag all those people um, in the Instagram post when this goes live so people can check them all out. Nice. Um, and the last thing is for you to plug yourself. So where can people find you? Where can they find you online? So we are the Fix Fife. We're at 267 High Street, Burnt Island, just on the corner next to the links. If you want to find us, we're on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and our handle is at the Fix Fife. Um, we like to post all our foodie pictures and things to tempt you there. Yeah, and, makes you hungry looking at it. Yeah, <laughs> and you can see what menus we've got coming up, and you know when we change our menus, you can see our menus there. So that is definitely the best place to check us out. Um, and also coming into the store in person yeah come in and see you yeah well i'll tag you as well so everyone can find you Fab. um thank you so much for chatting with me it's thank been you so good hearing your story so far <laughs> <laughs> excited to see what you've got coming up yes um but yeah thank you for listening and i'll speak to you next week bye bye <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for listening to this episode of mind your business head over and follow us on instagram and facebook at mind your business podcast to see everything that we've been chatting about in this episode If you're enjoying the podcast, please be sure to subscribe and drop us a review wherever you listen to help us spread the word. If you fancy getting access to some exclusive interviews, polls, forums and more, or if you're a small business looking to advertise, head over to our Patreon now. See you next week.